I'm Colby King from 330 Ministries, and let me tell you a quick story that just broke my heart. Uh, there was a church, I'm not even going to tell you what town it was in, but uh, it happened this past year. A man came to unlock the doors at the church, and there was a homeless man laying in front of the doorstep. And so, uh, what did the man do? Well, he kicked him, gently nudged him, and when the guy opened his eyes, he said, you need to get out of here. Decent people are on the way. And it broke my heart. But that's how sometimes we treat people who don't know Christ. I was at another church this past year, and as I was walking out to my car, I'd forgotten something. I uh, looked over and there was a lady digging through a trash dumpster outside that church. Digging through, she had a shopping cart. So I sat in my car for a minute and watched her, and I watched as family after family after family simply passed her by. Nobody stopped, stopped to talk to her. Nobody stopped to have a conversation, to invite her in. When I got out of my car, I was almost late for the church service. I went and had an incredible conversation with her, shared the gospel with her. We talked about several things going on in her life as well. She needed that. You see, you've got two different people there. One that was actually, hey, get on out of here. Most of our church members aren't like that. We're much more like the other church, where we turn a blind eye to people that need Jesus, and we just pass on by. We would love to help your ministry challenge your church family to be evangelistic, to share the good news, to take the gospel outside the walls of the church. And we have all sorts of resources prepared to help you with that. If you have questions, if you'd like to work with us to let us help you, if you'd like to use some evangelistic resources, we would love to help you. Just let us know or visit us online. The website's at the bottom, 330ministries.org. This has been a two-minute tip, a little bit heartbreaking, but I hope that it's helped you.